Hey guys, and welcome to game number 98 out of 100 of the Mac vs. Machine series, where I'll be playing 100 games of Scrabble against the top online bot, HastyBot. We're coming off of a really interesting game in game number 97 that unfortunately didn't go our way, but be sure to check that one out if you haven't already. It left us sitting at 57.5 wins with three games to go, so if we want to pass 60 wins, we're going to need all three of these wins in the last three games, so step one is going to be trying to win game 98 today, and let's get started. We start off with Hastybot playing putts. Unfortunately, I didn't get an R for Inertia. So I guess I'll just underlap. I could play Inia. It's 27. That's not bad. I could also play Tenia. Even Tenia. It's probably better. Scores a couple more. I think... Yeah, EET after Inia doesn't seem quite strong enough to justify keeping over just an I. And Tenia is probably a little bit more defensive because it makes overlaps a little harder. If I just play Inia, whoops, not there. If I just play Inia over here, and he's got a tile to overlap Za, it's going to be a lot easier for him to do that and play horizontally than after Tenia because he's going to need to also underlap the E, which will be tricky. So I think Tenia makes a little bit more sense. Generally in these positions, when I'm in doubt, I prefer taking the extra points and also the extra turnover. So let's go ahead and do that. Bot responds with Yuan, and I draw the J, which is not particularly good on this board. Yeah, I don't have a lot of things I can do here, actually. I may end up just playing either Jun or Taj for 10, because I definitely don't want to keep the J. It's going to stop me from bingoing. And yeah, I mean... I... Yes, I could also trade. Like I could trade two, trade JI, trade three even, but the G probably goes well with the EINS leaf because of the ING. Yeah, this is interesting. Do I see the problem with playing the J is it just doesn't work with a lot of common tiles. Especially the vowels, right? Because if I play let's just say I play John. If I draw an A, no bingos. If I draw an E, no bingos. I, no bingos. O, no bingos. And U, no bingos. That's a big problem. Like, whenever you fish off one tile, it's always good to calculate how often you draw a bingo. And it's good to start with the vowels, because they're the most likely and the most common. An R also doesn't actually hit a 7. A T and an N would. There's only a couple Ns left, though. Yeah, like an L doesn't hit anything. I don't think this hits enough. I think I should just trade two if I'm going to do that. Yeah, I feel like I should trade JI here. I mean, I think my bingo percentage is probably increased enough to make it worth the 10 point sacrifice. I mean, I'm not sure. But that's what I, I feel like would be correct. I guess I could also consider. I just saw Tajin. Set up the S, but there's still three more S's unseen, and GIS is too weak. I don't think that's worth it. It's very aggressive. Doesn't feel necessary. Yeah, it's probably close, because it is still 10 points. I guess I could also play, if I play Taj, and I just give nothing back whatsoever. I don't know. I think I want to try to bingo. I'm going to trade two. The computer probably isn't going to like it. It's probably not standard, but I'm going to do it. Wow. Okay. So, of all things, he bingoes through the Y. With Lampreys. And I draw the X, unfortunately, so not what I wanted. I'm quickly down 100. I guess I can at least... What can I even do here? Nix? It's pretty bad. We just play Nix. I should probably just play... Oh, what am I doing? Jeez. Yeah, I have X over here for 63. Wow, I... Yeah, I should have seen that immediately. I don't know why that took me 20 seconds to see that. But that's obviously the right play. Unfortunately, I draw more consonants. So, alright, I'm down 50. That's not terrible. Wow, if I had missed X, that would have been really embarrassing. So probably just vids or vigs. 
I think Vig, since I'm getting rid of the I. I generally don't like keeping Gs unless I also keep an I and an N, so I'm going to play Vigs. Dang it. Got bingos again. And I don't have anything here, which is not good. I could cash in airfields, but there's only one S, and being down 90, I'd rather try to bingo there, so I'm more inclined to play info, score reasonably, and hopefully I can draw in another vowel and some good bingo tiles and hit airfields next turn. Yeah, I think that's got to be better than just playing something there for 36 points or however many I'd get. Yeah, okay. So the bot plays goer. Did I get anything? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there are any sevens there, unfortunately. No eights through this G or the O or the I up here. So yeah, at some point I do need to ask myself, do I really want to keep holding that S. I could play Sodden for 42. I should probably do that. Wait, yeah, Sodden? That's no good, right? Is that good? Wait a minute. Uh, I don't think that's good. Yeah, it looks really funny. I'm not going to play that. Yeah, I think I just play Sodden over here. That looks... Fine. I hope I'm not wrong about Sodden. That would be a pretty bad miss. I feel pretty confident it's not good, though. Ooh! Okay, so Q, I, and I have Folky-ish. There we go. And the bot bingo's right back. So a lot of fireworks there all of a sudden, and... Now I'm in a little bit of a pickle because there's this huge spot here with an Edda hook, and I don't have an A. So, what do I do? Have anything here? Not really. Oh, I can play new though. Yeah, that's 48. That's got to be right. I was looking at Kiwi at first. Which keeps a much better leave. It does take out terrains, but it gives back kiwis, which is just as dangerous. I think new has to be right. Hour comes down. That's a lot of points, too. All of a sudden, it's a big scoring fest. And now, what do I do here? I think I'm inclined to just blow through tiles with Raboni. Basically an even game, the bot will be up two, and this game is going to hinge a lot on who gets that S with terrains looming, possible 60 point plays, especially with the J. So if I can turn over a lot of tiles and maximize my chances of getting it, it seems like a good thing. I could also try to block it though. I could play Bio or even Bib. Well, Bib partially blocks it because Bib will still be there play Bio. I just don't really like this. I mean, I'm still down. It's his turn. B-A-I-R is not a fantastic leave. I think I like my chances better after being aggressive with Raboni. But I'm not sure. Do I have anything here? Or Reby doesn't fit? Anything over here? Barrio? No. Bar... Barbi. It's no good. Huh. It's a, I could also play... Maybe I should play Barbie? Uh, I don't know. It's a really tough call. Yeah, what do I want to do about this S? I guess that's the biggest question. I just feel like my position is not great if I'm down a tempo and I block it. I'm not going to have a great leave. I think I'm going to play Raboni. Take the risk. Huh. That's annoying. So I do draw the S, but now I can't use it because of Wilco. And yeah, it's going to be probably tough to win now. I didn't consider that the bot could play there through the eye. 
Also, it's a bit unfortunate that of all tiles, they put a C there because I'm not going to be able to make a play ending in SC. So maybe now I play Avo? I feel like I need to do something like that. I mean, I'm not going to outscore the bot. There's still pretty well balanced pool on C, and this could be tough to block. And I'm not sure if Hasty Bot will even try. So it's a bit exploitative, but I think I kind of need to do it. Like, I just don't think if I if I score, right, with Avos, I guess, I'm still down and I have garbage. Yeah, I'm not winning if I do that in almost all cases. So, and if I just play Yuvia, where am I been going? I mean, I, I guess I could draw something under Rabboni. But that's more likely to get blocked, because he's often going to just play there with his J or something. Yeah, I think I need to play Avo. I think I need to be aggressive. Ah, dang it. So now... And now what? Drew more vowels. There's a lot more vowels left. So if I... Yeah, if I empty the bag, then he can always block. So if I play off the U... Is there anything through this T I can somehow draw? I doubt it. Yeah, it's maybe I can draw. No, I can't draw Stomodea, unfortunately. Yeah, so if I play off the U, where do I play off the U though? Oh, here, I guess. If I do that, I can draw an N for Etonias, and that's about it. We also go for the M for a Mounties. I guess I have to think about if I'm... I mean, against the Yubin, this probably never works. But against Hastybot, what's most likely? So I, I know Hastybot didn't have the M, because it would have played Mott if it had the M. Or, or Tom or something. Yeah, Tom. It would have played Tom for sure. So I know Hastybot didn't have the M. So that means there's actually like a 1 in 3 chance the M is in the bag. So I think I should go for the M instead of the N. So I'm going to play Fa. Maybe I can get an M. I got the M! No way! <laughs> that right there, guys, is a absolute stolen game. That would never work. Ever. Against a human who knows what they're doing. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you just block there. You don't play Zhao to that O. You just block, right? I mean, you should just play, like, just, I mean, play Zhao here, even. Like, the only way you lose, literally, look at this pool, is if the E is in the bag and your opponent has a Maudis. There are no other sevens, I don't think, right? Yeah, there's no other sevens. Adam said, I asked him, nothing fits through this D. There's nowhere else to bingo. You're not, I'm not bingoing to this W. Like, do anything, literally anything, that blocks a Maudis, and you win the game. Because I'm not going to be able to score enough. Like, just just play J-O for 9, and you win. Because you're up 46, you have decent enough tiles, I'm never scoring enough. Like, that's all you have to do. Just play J-O, play Zhao even better. Even play Jetan, you should be able to win. Like, just do something here. Wow. Um. Yeah, I mean, I should not have won that game, but that's... And that, guys, here, I think this is, and I've talked about this before, but, like, this is probably the best illustration we've had even in this whole series of why I'm doing better than Hasty Bot, right? Because, and I don't mean this at all to be arrogant. It's just the fact that Hasty Bot's strategy is, is frankly terrible, right? I mean, it isn't that hard to realize here. Even if you don't have great word knowledge, even if you just look at this position, you're like, okay, I'm up 37 points. My opponent doesn't have scoring tiles. Why are they threatening to bingo? Oh, row 15 hooking avos. Even if you don't know if there's sevens there, like, just block. If you drop a J, it's not hard to see you're never losing. Like, almost all humans who have a decent amount of tournament experience would recognize that. Like, that's not hard to recognize, and Hastybot is just totally oblivious to that. And that's the reason why I'm doing much better than Hastybot. Like, of course, Hastybot still has better word knowledge than me. My word knowledge is, is very strong, but... Hastybots is perfect. So Hastybot has a major edge on me on word knowledge, but 
my word knowledge is still good enough that I have such a significant edge on strategy in positions like this. Like in this position, I would have won 100% of the time. I would have just played Zhao to that O, not the O Hasty Bout pointed to, and I would have won. Like, it, it's not that hard to win here. And Hasty Bout is, is not capable of computing that. So that right there is an example of, of why I'm winning more games than Hasty Bot. It's, uh, it's not because, like, I'm so much better in terms of word knowledge or play finding. Hasty Bot's better at word knowledge and play finding. Hasty Bot finds every option and plays the best equity, but Hasty Bot doesn't strategize. And strategizing, especially at the end of the game here, is such a vital part of Scrabble. Um, and, and yeah, so, uh, that's, that's pretty much why in a nutshell right there, uh, I think, and I have drawn pretty well this series, but I think in a nutshell, that's why I'm overall uh, a slightly better player than Hasty Bot, just because of, of those kind of positions where Hasty Bot really has no clue what it's doing and it can be exploited very easily. So, so yeah, crazy, crazy game there. Uh, I definitely should not have won, but let's, let's see here. So yeah, 10 EI seems good. I wouldn't hold on to the E here personally. And didn't actually consider that, but I don't want to keep the J. Like, I'd rather try the bingo. I, I think my play is fine. Uh, and then, yeah, I like some... Oh! Wow. I did not see that. I, like, almost even didn't see this. I was going to play Nyx. This was just... Wow. This was just a disaster of a turn. I was, like, going to play Nyx, and then I saw Zax. I was like, oh, that's better to drop the X. I was like, wait a minute, Mac. What are you doing? You can play the E for another 28 points. And then after that, I didn't even look further. But yeah, unsexing, that's worth it, because that's 17 more points, and especially on this board where there's no S hooks, the S is not worth anywhere near 17 points. So yeah, that's a sizable mistake. Wow, I just did not come close to seeing that, unfortunately. Likes vids a little bit better. I don't know, maybe. I guess there's still a lot of eyes unseen. Yeah, okay, I could believe that, actually. There's there's so many eyes unseen that I'm likely enough to draw the INGS. And VNS is a little bit clunky if I don't draw an E and a few other vowels. Yeah, okay, I can believe that, actually, the more I think about it. Maybe GNS is a little more flexible. Not a big mistake, but maybe a small one. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have done that, but I just felt like I play Info. I score pretty well. I still score 24. And I have a good chance at hitting something there next turn. Dang it! Sodden is good? Shoot! Ugh! Wow. I can't believe I won this game. I played, like, garbage. Yeah, I saw it. But I thought Sodden was a noun. Wow. Yeah, that's terrible. I mean, that's just a 36-point mistake, straight up, right? Like, I mean, yeah, there's just nothing to even... Discuss more, though. That's just a, a flat-out huge mistake. Wow. Um, yeah, this game was a disaster. At least I do find foggy this year. That would have been really bad to miss two bingos in one game. Yeah, I mean, New has to be better to take out that spot with all those A's unseen. Yeah, he would have scored quite a lot there. And yeah, this was a really tough turn. I mean, maybe I should just play Bib. I ended up drawing the S. I just, yeah, this play of Wilco was really annoying. I think Raboni is fine, because like I said, my position after a play like Bib or Barbie, I'm keeping low-scoring tiles and vowels, which is not what I want in a closed board like this. I felt like I was just likely to get outscored, being down a tempo and not having a good lead. So I felt I needed to continue to take some risks. And yeah, Wilco was a really annoying play, as it completely blocked what I was going to do here with Vatus. Uh, and yeah, like I said, with UVA, it just doesn't open anything. Well, Kiviet is really cool, but again, like, it, it just what am I doing? I'm down 20. I have an S, but so what? There's like no S hooks on this board. There's nowhere to score, and I'm just going to lose. So I feel like I have to do something here. And yeah, here I, I should just lose, right? I mean, against the human, I just lose. I probably, honestly, against the human, maybe would just even throw in a towel and play something like autos to conserve spread. But against Hasty Bot, I'm like, okay... Maybe it's not going to block. Like, just shot in the dark here, right? Um, and I was like, I can either fish off a U and go for the N for Etonias, or I can fish off an O and go for the M for a Maudis. In a vacuum, either way, it's 1 and 9, because there are 2 in the back, 7 on Hasty Bot's rack. That's 9 total tiles. I'm drawing 1. I have a 1 in 9 probability in a vacuum of drawing any given tile. However, Hasty Bot just played a lot over here. If it had an M, it could have played Tom on this turn for eight more points, and it almost certainly would have done that. There's, uh, as an equity-driven bot, there's no reason why Hasty Bot wouldn't have just played Tom. The M is not going to be eight points better on equity than the L in any circumstance. So I knew Hasty Bot didn't have the M here, 
which means that there's uh, there's actually a much better chance it's still in the bag, um, right? So there were three tiles, uh, or actually, I don't think I calculated this right during the the game. Um, I think I said one in three. I think it's actually one in four because, yeah. So let's think. So I knew Hasty Bot didn't have the M here, so that means there's a 50-50 chance it drew the M because there were actually four, not three, in the bag when Hasty Bot played a lot. Um, yeah, so it's actually a one in four chance I had it drawing the M. Sorry guys, it's not one in three like I initially said because there's a 50-50 chance, one in two chance that Hasty Bot drew the M. Of course, if Hasty Bot drew the M, I'm not getting the M. But if Hasty Bot didn't draw the M, then there's a 50-50 chance I draw the M because there's still two in the bag. And at that point, I know for sure one of those is the M. So uh, basically what I need to draw the M is for Hasty Bot to miss the M and then me to get the M. So that's uh, one and two followed by one and two. So you multiply those, it's one and four, not one and three. I was, uh, for some reason, thinking there was only one in the bag when I made my play before, but there were two. So uh, it, I should have uh, I should have said one and four before, not one and three. So my bad on that earlier, guys. But yeah, the uh, the odds of this fish working were one in four, not one in three. Uh, in any case, one in four is still better than one in nine. And uh, I can't really infer anything about HastyBot's likeliness to have the N with a play like Lot. If anything, probably more likely than average, because if it was... Uh, I also know it didn't have the J because Jot would have came down uh, and probably isn't too Val heavy or else it would have tried to play off another Val like Loti or something. So I feel like it's probably, if anything, more likely than typical to have the N um, and guaranteed not to have the M. So it's probably even worse than 1 in 9 for the N. Uh, and in practice, it's exactly 1 in 4 now we know for the N. So, um, so this ploy here had a, about a 1 in 4 chance of working. Well, of me drawing the M, it shouldn't have ever worked because Hastybot should have just blocked my bingo, which any uh, any human here would have done. But Hastybot uh, just decided to take equity in play here, and I bingoed out with the Maudis and won the game. So, yeah, um, oof, ugly, ugly game. I mean, I played like garbage. I, uh, I mean, un missing unsexing is it's tough to see, but I just chickened out of sodden, which is really bad. So, yeah, no, I, I played horribly, and, uh, I mean, I had no business winning this game in the end, but I was able to exploit Hasty Bot. This would not work against, like I said, almost all humans or a stronger computer, but it worked against Hasty Bot, and, yeah, what can I say? I mean, that was, uh, not a, not a good display of Scrabble in terms of skill, but I guess it was a good display of Scrabble in terms of content and, uh, surprisingness. So, so yeah, hope you guys, uh, enjoyed and uh, maybe got a laugh out of that, and, uh, you know, a win's a win. We'll take it. And uh, our 60 win possibility is uh, is somehow still alive. We're now at 58 and a half wins out of um, out of 98 games. So two games to go. If we can win the last two, then we hit 60. So yeah, I, I still can't believe I won that game. But uh, but yeah, you know, like I said, we'll take it. And uh, on to the next one. So uh, thanks for watching as always, guys. And I will see you soon. Bye bye.